Travelers like us are always on the hunt for a slice of undiscovered paradise. A place where we can escape the crowds, walk the beach for hours without seeing a soul, and find true solitude. But in this day and age, is there such a place left? The answer is yes. It's a place that few have heard of and even fewer have visited. A place where you can walk for miles into the water, the soft sand beneath your feet, with wildlife right amongst you. It's a reminder that in this vast, beautiful world, there are still places waiting to be discovered for those brave enough to step off the beaten path. Welcome, Welcome to, to Holbosch! Martina and I are on a mission to visit every state in Mexico. And many people told me this is the most beautiful island, not only in the country, but in the continent. What's crazy is that we're two hours from Cancun, so far enough away from all the crowds and hustle and bustle, but surprisingly close and easy to get to. In this video, we're going to show you things to do in Holbosch, how to get over here and how much does it cost. So come along with us for a weekend in Holbosch. Let's get started. Vamonos! You can get to Holbosch by tour but we're doing by ourselves, like many times in this series. So right now we're in the Cancun bus station of ADO, and we're taking the bus from here to Chiquila, and from Chiquila we're gonna take a ferry to arrive to the beautiful island of Olbosch. We strongly recommend you to buy your tickets online, that's the best way, the easiest, the cleanest, the best. I say it once, but I'm gonna say it twice. These tacos outside of the bus terminal, chulada. Okay, we bought a ticket. As soon as you get out of the bus, there's a station over there. As many other ferry stations, there's two companies and it leaves every half an hour. So hopefully we can just get our ferry over here. The cost is 220 pesos and we're in a rush. We made it, just in time. Gracias. This trip was actually super easy to do by bus. Martina and I originally wanted to do a rental car to come here, but in retrospect, that would have been a bad idea because we'd have to leave it here overnight. So overall, so far so good. Yep. This is the type of place you see on the postcard. This is the type of place that travelers dream of finding. Your classic, sleepy Mexican beach town. Everybody's getting around on these four by fours. And we're gonna find the beach. It's time. between the other destinations in our Riviera Maya series is that this is the only destination that I haven't been. Mm. Olbosch is new for me and I wanted to come over here so bad. Yeah. So what is her first impression, Juliana? Well, let me tell you, like Martine, I've been dreaming of being able to take a trip here to show you guys this place. Within the first five minutes of being here, a few things are gonna happen. You're gonna say to yourself, hmm, Maybe we could quit our jobs and just go live here for the rest of our <laughs> lives. Then you're gonna say, maybe I'm just gonna start wearing my hair natural, no makeup, wear a swimsuit all the time. Yeah, I'm, I don't want to use makeup anymore. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then the last thing you're gonna say is, I am craving some shrimp. We need to get our butts to the beach immediately. <laughs> oh yeah. I've seen a couple of stores that they're cute. Actually, I want to buy like maybe a shirt or maybe a necklace. I, I I've seen interesting right stuff. Now. We going to discover the city center of Holbox later yes. on when it's not it's not as hot. But right now, what I'm what I'm seeing, I'm liking it. I huh? know you can catch me wearing a puka shell necklace by the end of this video. I guarantee <laughs> it. It's gonna happen. Okay, so we arrived to this place that is called Corazón del Mar. And we have the beach in front of us, the deep blue, 
and you can see people getting very far and like the water is only till their knees. I know, you could. this is the type of place you could walk for miles. We're currently at Playa Hol Bosch, huge stretch of beach where there's mm -hmm. tons of little restaurants like this. And actually we stopped because Juliana was craving some coconut shrimps. And the coconut shrimps have been found. They're on our <laughs> way to us. And to be honest, this isn't even the beach we're most excited for. There's no, no, two no. Others. This is just a welcoming beach. Let's call it like that. Or the uh, beach where we are currently waiting for our Airbnb to be ready, which we'll show you guys a bit later. <laughs> While we pass some time at the beach, let's get you a little more familiar with the island with a little bit of trivia. Did you know that this island is so narrow that it's practically a balancing beam? Okay, not quite, but it is 26 miles long and only 0.9 miles wide at its widest point. And if you're expecting to cruise around by car, think again. This is a car-free island, meaning that to get around the island, you'll need to go by foot, by bike, or by golf cart. There are so many cool accommodations on this island. We had so much fun looking through them. Honeymooners, there's definitely some cool places here for you. But we figured since we're only here for one night and most of our time is gonna be spent out exploring, we wanted to do a budget accommodation option. So we went to Airbnb, found this listing for, it starts at $49 a night. It's this nice studio that has a kitchen and air that is literally all we need, plus a bathroom. So far we've been really impressed with this option. We'll leave a link down below. We're not in any way affiliated with the host of this property. We just like to share our finds with you guys. Enough talking though, we literally just set our stuff down and we're itching to get back to the beach. Different beach though this time. We're renting some bikes in order to go to the beach because it's a 40 minutes walk. I don't want to walk. How do you guys like our rides? We ended up renting these bikes in downtown. There's a few different options for how many hours to rent. We ended up doing seven hours for 170 pesos and we're gonna start exploring. So we bike around, what would you say, 15 minutes? I think if that sounds correct. And we arrived to one of the points of the island that is called Punta Cocos. So over here, right now, the tide is low, but it's gonna get high, he told me, in half an hour, so it's gonna look amazing. And this is a great place because there's trees, there's chairs, and there's also like a little bar so they can give you water or whatever you need. And I heard this is one of the best places to see the sunset, so we're looking forward. We ended up talking to some locals on the beach for quite a long time. <laughs> Shout out was... to them. It was such a great conversation. One person um, he actually lives in Holbosch, the other person was from Guadalajara, and the other person was from Aguascalientes. Yeah. It was a great conversation. One thing I learned though from the local guy, he said the minute the sun goes down, you will be eaten alive by mosquitoes. So let's head back to town. Vámonos. plans. I'm in the mood for pizza. And I'm in the mood for lobster. But luckily, there's something that makes us both happy. A combination of the two, because marriage is all about compromise, right? That's probably right. <laughs> lobster pizza is a glorious dish that I never even knew we needed in our lives that's apparently famous here on the island of Hobosh. But there's a couple of places that they clean they are the ones that invented this magnificent dish. Asking around, they told us this is the place that invented, that is called Roots. So we are over here and we are hungry, man. Let me tell you this, I've been looking forward to this specific dish since we planned this trip a few months ago. Bon <laughs> appetit. Papaya de Zelaya. 
camera eats first. Our lobster pizza is here and it smells delicious. It smells like lobster. <laughs> and like pizza. <laughs> You guys just witnessed history. One of the best pizzas I've had in my entire life. Muy bien. If you really like lobster and you like pizza, stop watching this video. Oh, pause on it. You should buy a flight to Cancun. Come to Holbox and try it. My God, it's good. It's good. For a sleepy Mexican beach town, it's shocking how lively this place is at night. We're gonna walk around, check out some of the boutiques, and then we'll meet you guys in the plaza where there's tons of vendors set up for some marquesitas. What's up, amigo? Muchas gracias. This is a marquesita. This is the main dessert over here, like all around the Riviera Maya. So, and traditionally, you have to put queso de bola, that is a cheese that is aged. And it's very, very good. If you have the opportunity, you need to try it. You can order it with Nutella, with caramel, or with lechera. That will be the traditional way to do it. Provecho. Totally was expecting this to be pretty much the same thing as a crepe. It is not. It is a lot harder, and the cheese thing really threw me off. Overall, the texture is completely different from a crepe. I wasn't expecting the cheese in here. Let's give it a try. And also, mi amor, on the top, it looks like me whenever I wake up, my, my hair. It does. It looks just like this. <laughs> try it, mi amor. Mmm. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. The cheese... The cheese is just like Parmesan, not what I expected. A dog parade. <laughs> There's many tours you can take over here in Holbox. I think one of the most famous is the Tree Island Tour. That it take you to the island, the Bird Island, then it take you to another island, and then they take you to a place where uh, water is born. Mm -hmm. Did you say that, Juliana? Uh -huh. There's another famous tour that is only in the months of June and July that is with the whale shark. That's also interesting. But talking yesterday with a the local, they told us to Punta Mosquito. That is beautiful. Before, you can enter to Punta Mosquito. But nowadays, it's a reserve, a natural reserve, and you can only get close. So our mission today is to see how close we can get. But first, let's get a coffee. Found a super cute coffee shop that is one of the few that is open at this hour on the island. It's called Cristal. And it's also a market. Looks like it's one of those places where you can actually bring your own container, weigh it, get what you need. We love that. After caffeinating ourselves, we hopped in a golf cart taxi and made our way to a hotel called Las Nubes, which is the closest we could get to Punta Mosquito on wheels before making the rest of the journey on foot. Muchas gracias, buen día. 150 pesos give us a ride from downtown Holbox to this sign that says Yumbala. So we're closer, closest as we can possibly get by car. Now we have to walk. This is so peaceful. There's not a single noise. Beautiful. The only thing you can see is those people walking over there. They're like Jesus, you know, they're, wa they're walking on the, on the water. So it's very funny. We're gonna be there. We're gonna yeah. be those people. Let's see how the tide is though, because we have no idea how deep it is to Look, get over there. That person is swimming and it's getting to the hips. All right. And hips don't lie. <laughs> wow, okay.
my god! Map. We made it to the sand bank. It's it, something else. <laughs> unbelievable. Like, I said it before, but I truly feel like we're on one of those magazine covers of like these gorgeous destinations in the Caribbean. Actually, Yen and I, we were talking uh, that this reminds us a lot of um, Fifi Island in, in Thailand. Thailand. But this one is even better. Much better. And it's not as crowded and it's full of nature. It's beautiful. I was a little skeptical of this morning's activity because uh, we truly had no idea what we were doing, if we'd even be able to get to the sandbar. We were kind of disappointed that we couldn't do a tour because the times weren't right for us. Good that you trust me. Yeah, good that I trusted you and that this all worked out. Sometimes the best adventures can be the ones that you never even had planned. This is probably the highlight not only of this specific trip, but our entire time in the yes. Maya. As you can see, we arrived to the point. We cannot walk more. Over here, just start the natural reserve of Punta Mosquito. So you can see a lot of birds. And as the sign says, over here there's rays, crocodiles, and ugly feet. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we cannot go further, but we can watch some of the birds. Beautiful. We were super curious about seeing flamingos on this island because yes, flamingos love it here. So we talked to one of the locals and they let us know that in the evening the flamingos actually migrate over here to this side of the island, but in the daytime they go to the completely other side. Uh, one of the tours actually takes you over there to an uh, area where all the birds pretty much hang out during the day. So we don't get to see them now, but they do live here. So cool. But we learned that even flamingos can hit the snooze button a few too many times because we ended up spotting some in the distance. But the real highlight of our walk back was running into this huge hermit crab taking a walk on the beach itself and lots of horseshoe crabs as well. Plus a baby ray we didn't get on camera. I don't know if you agree with me, Jules, but over here in Holbosch, it's like a different um, beach in the way that there's people, there's no like, hearing loud music and partying and yeah. everything is calm over here exactly and um, we need that i know? love that it's really hard to find places like that this these days in mexico which is why i completely agree with people who say this is the most beautiful place in mexico i think i think we found it <laughs> and it's good that i this is my first time also here and i discovered with you Mimo, another place as you guys know we make videos all over the usa and mexico so make sure you subscribe uh, find more cool places like this. We're constantly learning new things about each other's cultures, sometimes even our own in your case. That's right. One of the best mornings we've had in such a long time. And as we were walking back to our Airbnb, we decided to stop in this little shop called Clandestino, which we've passed by a few times already. And all the times we we're like, hey, what's in there? We thought it was just coffee. But it turns out they have a super great menu of so many toasts and smoothie bowls all sorts of delicious things. Their bakery looks incredible. And they have sourdough bread coming from the Bay Area. I felt like I found home. So we're gonna have some toast, have a couple drinks. Our team got a little pastry and enjoy our last few hours here. By far, this is one of the most beautiful places we've been not in Mexico, not in the United States, in the entire world. I can only hope that you guys watching this at home get a chance to come here because truly, this is the dream of every traveler, honestly. We want to thank you so much for watching this video as well, our entire series over here in Riviera Maya. Thank you so much. This is a trip that we really enjoyed. Yeah, what a way to end our nine-part series through the Riviera Maya. Subscribe for more adventures around the USA, Mexico, and sometimes beyond. We'll see you in the next one. So long. Travel well. And make the world your neighborhood. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye. The best way to support us as we make these videos is to subscribe and leave a comment so this video can reach a wider audience. You can also check out our Buy Us a Coffee link in the description to contribute directly to helping us upgrade our gear. And don't forget to check out our other social media sites and our Spanish channel, Bitácora de Viajero, where we make these exact same videos in Spanish.